So what is going to happen with Assange's extradition? Who approved it? It says the U.S. has. Yeah, the U.S. is asking for his uh, extradition. It was the Trump administration that brought the charges against Assange, which is ironic because Trump was talking about how much he loved WikiLeaks when he was running for president because at the time they were leaking stuff out of the Clinton uh, campaign that wasn't uh, flattering, to say the least. And uh, But then, you know, they kept going. And uh, Vault 7, which was a lot of the CIA's tools for, you know, getting into our computers, even our electronics on our cars, uh, really ticked off the CIA. So Trump indicted uh, Assange on, what is it, 17 counts under the Espionage Act, which is a law that was passed in, during World War I, probably should be repealed as unconstitutional. One thing under that law is you cannot defend whatever you did there objecting to by saying it was in the public interest. Like you provided information the public ought to know. Uh, you know, that's why Edward Snowden is exiled in Russia. Not That wasn't the country he chose, but the U.S. kind of forced him there when they wouldn't let his next flight go to Ecuador. Well, Cuba and Ecuador, I think, was the flight path. Um, so he's stuck in, in, in Russia. Um, and uh, he told us that the, uh, the, the the National Security Agency was spying on all our phone calls. And, you know, he revealed that. Now, if he could come, and he's, that's why he's in exile, because he says, I can't use doing that as a public interest defense under the Parent, uh, Espionage Act. So now that's what they're charging Assange with. He was a publisher and a journalist. If he is convicted, you might as well convict the New York Times and the Washington Post and shut them down. Because all the news about Washington, almost all of it, it comes from leaks, whether they're documents or just statements by anonymous sources who are anonymous because they don't want to get in trouble for speaking publicly. So, uh, uh, so they charge Assange, and then the uh, UK held him in violation of a, a parole agreement or some kind of agreement because he took refuge in the uh, Ecuadorian uh, embassy when he was supposed to show up for charges from Sweden, and uh, which has since been dropped. So uh, Kat is asking, so now the appeal was approved by whom? By the Biden administration. They're in charge of this prosecution now. And, you know, we should demand that they drop it because it's a prosecution of the First Amendment and Assange is a convenient vehicle. Uh, to, well, they don't like Assange, but if he gets convicted, it's it's a execution of the First Amendment. Puts all of our First Amendment rights in jeopardy. So now the last two days or three days now, well, last two days, yeah, uh, they've had hearings about his uh, extradition to the U.S. And, uh, you know, you can read on what's been said there. But one of the things in the background, which uh, may have uh, influence, is that under Trump, the CIA, although Trump didn't approve it, it was done by uh, who was heading the CIA then, who be became one of, his, one of those Trump guys. I can't remember the name right now. Uh, they, they were thinking, they started exploring how they might assassinate or kidnap and assassinate Assange. And... Uh, so they went through the planning. That was uh, that came out in a report from Yahoo News, Michael Isakoff and colleagues, uh, which the lawyers for Assange says, you know, how can he expect to get a fair trial? And if he convicted uh, safe uh, conditions of incarceration when the government was thinking about assassinating him. And uh, that's why he uh, they appealed the extradition, because the first judge said, she didn't think that he could be uh, safely held in U.S. prisons um, because the conditions are so harsh. So that's where that case is at right now. I think people ought to be writing the uh, Biden administration saying, drop the charges on Assange, let him go free, and let him be what he was, a publisher. And let, let you know, this war on whistleblowers goes back, especially to the uh, Obama administration, that uh, 
Espionage Act was not used, but a couple of times from uh, they used it during World War One. They were after people like Eugene Debs and A. Philip Randolph and uh, Emma Goldman, and then they didn't use it. Uh, there was one definite case of uh, tree, you know, what do you call it, spying and espionage, and then there was um, Daniel Ellsberg, but they couldn't uh, pursue that because Ellsberg rights were violated because they. Uh, they invaded and uh, burglarized his psychiatrist's uh, office to get, you know, background on Ellsberg and other violations of his civil rights and civil liberties. So the judge threw out the case because of government of government misconduct. Now, what the lawyers are arguing is that the CIA planning how to kidnap and maybe assassinate Assange uh, is government misconduct, and he should be free. So we'll see what happens.